Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. For this tutorial we'll be running through the domestic hot water section. The domestic hot water section follows on from heat loss and emitter log sections and should be completed for biomass and heat pump calculations. The first page of the domestic hot water section is the specification, which starts with the primary heat source details. The first question, which is output capacity of heat source, is the output of the heat pump or biomass system based on the design conditions you are setting up. For this, you should liaise with your manufacturer to see what output they would suggest based on your design conditions. This would take into consideration the outside design temperature and flow temperature. For this example, we've put a 10 kilowatt output and 55 degree flow temperature. For the flow temperature, there's a drop down where you can select different options. The next section is for an auxiliary heat source. If you select yes for this, two options will appear to add in some details about that heat source. If you select no, they will disappear. Um, heat, the auxiliary heat source is if the, an additional system is required, such as an oil boiler to meet the hot water requirement. So you just add in the details of that system in that section. You then go on to the system details, which is basically some information about the household and its requirements. So it starts off with number of bedrooms, number of occupants, litres per person per day. For this question, usually the average is about 45 litres, but it could range anywhere between 35 and 60 litres. Next question for the hot water temperature required. Um, you'd input this as what temperature is required for the water. However, there is a five degree loss in the hot water systems and therefore the hot water temperature should be at least five degrees lower than the flow temperature. If the temperatures are the same or the required temperature is higher than the flow temperature, the software will allow for this difference to be met by the immersion and you'd need to add in some additional details further down about the immersion system. Um, the incumbent temperature is um, already set for you at 10 degrees, as this is the usual rule of thumb. However, you can edit it as it can vary depending on where you are in the country. Um, the pipe work efficiency, you have two options in the drop down of 75% or 85%. Usually this will be 75% as it's the most typical answer, but more, for more efficient systems you can add the 85% option instead. You then have a question about Legionella purge. If you select no, then the final two questions will be removed. However, if there is a Legionella purge set up within the system, you'll then be asked about the frequency and purge hours. Um, so you have for the frequency, you have an option for daily, weekly or monthly, and then the hours either per day or per week. A lot of manufacturers, certainly in the case of heat pumps, have built the Legionella cycle into the settings. And the software is just including this to allow a contribution towards the running costs to meet that extra requirement. The final section on here is regarding the cylinder. So it just asks for the make and model of the cylinder. And then the next sort of section is already calculated for you as what the capacity is required for the cylinder. So in this case, 180 litre cylinder would be required. Um, and then you'd ask to fill in the capacity of your chosen cylinder. So this should meet the requirement of the capacity calculation or provide some extra space as well. So for this example, we've added in a 200 litre cylinder. And then the final question with regards to the electric immersion heater, if required, so you just add in the kilowatt capacity of the immersion heater for the final question. Once you've completed all those, click the next button and it'll take you to the design calculation section. This will be all the information that you've input on the previous page and some calculated information as well for the total annual demand and some e details about the Legionella purge as well. You then have the domestic hot water recovery rate and you're required to have this based on EN8558. Once you've completed all that and checked through it, press the print button and you'll open the results as a PDF document and you'll be able to save that as part of your project. If you do still have any questions about this section, please contact your consultant. But thanks for watching.